Welcome back to the channel, guys. Cesare here, and I'm back with another one. Blood and Water, season three is out right now on Netflix, guys. I finished it, and this is what I think about the season, guys. So season one and season two basically laid the foundation. It had a lot of character building, and it had a story arc. But yeah, guys, they absolutely waste no time. They dive right into the drama, they dive right into the action, and it delivers its best season yet, guys. Puleng and Fikile headline the show again, guys, and that dynamic between them is what I love about the show. And the two actresses that play Fikile and Puleng absolutely knock it out the park. And the supporting characters as well, guys, you have Wade, KB, Chris, Reese. And you see the introduction of Lunga, uh, Puleng's cousin. You also see the introduction that everybody has been waiting for. KB's mother that was teased at the end of season two finally arrives. And she's the main villain here, guys. She is the main antagonist of the show. There's a, there's a shock to us in the middle of the season. I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys. Because I want you guys to watch the show. But I really enjoy the show, guys. It's shot in my country, South Africa. I live in Joburg. They shot it in Cape Town. And I've been to Cape Town a few times. And Cape Town is absolutely beautiful, guys. You can even see by the show, the cinematography of the show is absolutely amazing, guys. And I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. You guys need to check out the show yourself. Let me know what you think. That's Blood and Water Season 3, guys. And you guys can comment down below in the comment section. And we can have a little bit of back and forth about what you think about Season 3. You guys hoping for more? I'm certainly hoping for more, guys, because I really enjoy the show. That's me, guys. Blood and Water Season 3. Out right now on Netflix. Like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.